The open fan wing, a new way to fly. In 1999, it began to emerge that there was, for the first time in recent history, a new way to fly, which Clive Thompson from the New York Times later called one of the few truly new aircraft since the Wright brothers. Fixed and rotary wing aircraft are now confronted by an alternative that is undergoing scientific investigation. The uniquely designed open fan wing was conceived by Pat Peebles. He is an inventor with a conviction that distributed propulsion along a wing could lead to a new level of flight efficiency, a novel technology so promising that the European Union decided to provide financial support for its development. Well, it was very important to get this project because I had been uh, essentially working by myself for many years and it was very nice to get uh, a team of experts together to examine the technology uh, to go further ahead because as all uh, uh, sort of inventor type technologies that came come from one person from the outside eventually it needs expert input it needs proper engineering uh, to go ahead and to be developed into a, a proper product that's uh, of use to people. In 2012 the award-winning and commercially promising invention came to the attention of one enterprising engineer at the University of Saarland. He and Peebles, together with a research professor at the Belgian von Karman Institute, subsequently attracted the interest of the German Aerospace Center. Together, they formed a team, also including George Seafang, a retired BAE systems aeronautics engineer formerly in charge of novel aircraft studies. In 2013, the SOAR project, with a two-year goal of investigating the wing's aerodynamics and working principle, was funded by the European Commission. The advantages of the open fan wing technology are ultra-short takeoff and landing capability, high maneuverability, low, uh, low speed flying ability, and also uh, low noise emissions in comparison to helicopter applications and um, low fuel consumption due to the high efficiency of the fan wing rotor. The new propulsion system combines the advantages of fixed wing aircraft and helicopters. Various profiles of carbon fiber reinforced rotor blades and numerous wing configurations were tested in wind tunnel experiments carried out at the von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics in Belgium to provide documented evidence for the first time that the propulsion system also works on a larger scale. The large wind tunnel in Belgium provided data which together with the results of advanced fluid simulations conveyed a deeper understanding of the forces resulting in the captured vortex. The basic research provided useful data and insights into complex aerodynamic behavior that invites further investigation. You can exploit the whole uh, wingspan uh, to create the lift and the, and the thrust. So this is also very unique because now it's, uh, it's a distribu distributed propulsion where uh, many researchers around the world that is working on by using, uh, by using different type of uh, approaches. But fan wing is naturally uh, distributed propulsion for us. Creating a new aircraft is a complete challenge for all the scientists. So now we are really one step ahead in this process. But now what we need to take a look at it is the real world application. The tests in the wind tunnel sought to verify the observations of earlier flight tests. Using various smaller model aircraft, the inventor Pat Peebles had already shown that the new propulsion system works well under real conditions. Good controllability, short takeoff and landing properties, stable flight. While a small model can demonstrate the basic principle of propulsion, the challenge was and is to transfer the findings to larger models and to understand the forces at work. At Zarland University, scientists put together a complex drive system for the wind tunnel model involving mechanisms, motors and sensors, as well as implemented aircraft models in a powerful flight simulator to better understand and demonstrate the flight behavior of prospective aircraft based on the open fan wing configuration. The open fan wing technology remains the focus of the SOAR project, 
But Sarlon University recognizes the significance of electrical drive systems, a rising trend for ultralights as well as for large commercial passenger aircraft. Electrical motors are actually going through a renaissance. Uh, you will notice that uh, several aircraft are being developed with electrical motors, so it's not a novel idea in connection with the fan wing. It is a, uh, a development, a trend, which is uh, very significant from the ecological standpoint, from the standpoint of uh, noise emissions, uh, from the standpoint of efficiency. There are several technical challenges that need to be overcome in connection with electrical drive systems. One often speaks of the battery issue, which still is in development and has to be solved. But the electrical motors have great advantages of uh, being quiet, of being efficient, also being able to uh, provide short-term power uh, uh, quite high above uh, the normal rating, which is good in the uh, case of an aircraft for takeoff. But the SOAR project not only developed and investigated drive components, economic prospects play an important role in defining the path of development of a novel technology such as the open fan wing. Specialists in market analysis and aircraft concept development investigated where this new propulsion solution can best be applied in application areas where the ultra-short takeoff and landing, high payload, slow and stable flight, and expected low noise are commercially significant. The study results are promising, resulting in the identification of specific application areas. We found a number of markets that generate a positive return on investment for new aircraft and that are also willing to pay a premium. The most promising is in firefighting. There is a market that's cornered by an aircraft that can essentially scoop up new payload and they company is able to charge a double premium for this. The family can essentially enter the same market and fly at a lower speed for more precise application for about half the cost. This is the most promising. Secondly, there is the agricultural market. This market is a larger volume market. Um, there are specific, specific characteristics about the fan wing, mainly the short takeoff length, enable the owners that use the aircraft very often to store it at their farm instead of having to store it at a runway. And this decreases the uh, the fuel burn, the emissions, um, the cost, everything that would go into normal operator's uh, expense sheet. For the inventor and developer Pat Peebles, a dream is coming true that his open fan wing will become reality. After over 20 years of development and hard work, now with the support and input of the SOAR team of experienced professionals, his vision is finally beginning to take form. We've reached the stage where we have to build a man-carrying model to demonstrate the technology. In the beginning, carrying one or two people uh, with proper instrumentation so we can measure how it works and how well it uh, flies and how well it controls. The SOAR project has served as a bridge towards the development of open fan wing aircraft with potential to fill identified needs in the international aircraft market.